Hey guys, what is up? It is True Killer 360 here, and yes, I am still alive. And I know I haven't posted in probably about two weeks, but you know I have some, uh, I guess, excuses to why I didn't do it. I have some good reasoning behind it. I guess be a better way to put it. And uh, you know a lot, a lot has been happening, uh, at least for me, the past two weeks. So it's been pretty difficult for me to uh, post any kind of video at all. And, uh, yeah, basically I'm just going to talk about all of that, this video, and, uh, basically apologize for not posting for, uh, like two weeks. And, you know, it, it really sucks. It bugs the crap out of me. I hate not putting videos out for you guys. And, you know, to go almost two weeks without putting a video out, uh, drove me crazy. And, uh, you know, right now I'm using the Share Factory, uh, I guess application on the, uh, PS4. So if it sounds kind of weird or anything, that may be what it is. And, uh, you know, I feel like I'm probably going to have to get used to using this app for a while because my computer, I'm pretty sure it's completely dead. I don't think there's any, uh, any way of getting it to work again. And, you know, that sucks so much. And, uh, you know, I've had this computer for probably about three or four years now, which, I mean, that's, that's pretty good lifespan for a computer, and uh, the person who had it before actually probably had it for about a year or two, so it's a pretty old computer, and uh, it's, I mean, it sucks a lot, because basically what's going on is my computer, I mean, it'll like turn on, but it won't actually work. And uh, what I mean by that is the, like, the monitor won't work anymore. And, you know, it's it's like the power light and stuff will turn on, but the actual computer itself will not. And, you know, that really sucks because that's where I have all my editing software. It's where I keep a lot of my videos to, to post and everything like that. And, you know, now I don't have that stuff because, you know, if, if this computer's actually dead, I'm pretty much uh, screwed on the most part. And, you know, I have no idea what my uploads are going to be like. I uh, have absolutely no idea what's going on. And, you know, I've been looking through the Share Factory app, and, you know, I haven't really cared for it too much. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that they put this in the game. I'm glad uh, they're allowing people to kind of do YouTube and stuff, like myself and other people. And uh, for pretty much free, I mean, as long as you have a PS4, you can do this. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it... It really sucks because, you know, it bugs the crap out of me because I really, really like posting videos. I, I just absolutely love editing and love watching, like, the final video being made and getting feedback on it, stuff like that. You know, basically not being able to do that now, it, it sucks a lot, to say the least. And, uh, you know, hopefully the Share Factory will turn out to be better than I think it is. But, you know, the problem that I'm actually running into is I believe the Share Factory only allows certain games to be, uh, I don't know, edited. Like, for instance, I wanted to post some Far Cry gameplay with maybe like a commentary or something. Uh, but Share Factory would not allow me to put in Far Cry video, like, in the application. And, uh, you know, I looked around and looked around and I don't think it's possible. And, uh, you know, that, that's pretty annoying. That sucks a lot. Because, you know, I don't want to be stuck to just these few games because, I mean, the games that you can, uh, that I saw you can edit are like Garden Warfare, Plants vs. Zombies, Advanced Warfare, Battlefield Hardline, Beta, and, uh, you know, it, it sucks a lot because, you know, there's so many more games out there and if they uh, cut it to just that, you know, that, I really, really don't like that. But, uh, you know, this gameplay, you guys are going to see me go off, um, I'm using the, uh, Inferno Bow, I know, super tryhard, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I've heard some rumors about Advanced Warfare that they're going to start allowing people to earn elite guns and stuff, and, you know, that's pretty cool because myself, I would love to get my hands on, like, a Speakeasy, a Steel Bite, a Goliath, because all those guns to me look just downright amazing, and I see all these other people using them. And, uh, you know, even if they aren't the best players, those guns kind of make up for it. And, you know, I see them posting, or not even posting, just uh, putting up some great gameplays and uh, really helping their team out, getting those kill, those needed kills and whatnot. And, 
I know the Inferno is a pretty good weapon, but you know I really just don't care for the bow, uh, partly because everybody and their mother uses it. But you know I just don't care for how fast it shoots. I uh, I really don't like it, and uh, you know it's got very minimal recoil. And you know I feel like anybody else in the game can use it except me, because you know I've had quite a few troubles with this gun. I feel like the hit detection on it isn't the best. And, you know, there's also rumors that there's a huge patch coming out for this game that's basically, it's going to, like, mess with about 15 different weapons, um, either nerfing them or buffing them. So that, that'll be pretty nice. Hopefully uh, they won't just worry about just weapons. Hopefully they'll help uh, fix, like, connection problems and uh, stuff like that. And, you know, because I, I find a lot that, uh, you know, connection plays a pretty big part within this game. And, uh, you know, with Call of Duties, that, that kind of does play a big part within uh, one another. But, you know, the biggest one probably being Black Ops 2. If you were Black Ops, um, or host in Black Ops 2, excuse me, you were pretty much set. You could melt just about anyone. And if you guys know uh, Ethan, he's a uh, internet warrior. If you guys seen Victor's video of him uh, just getting destroyed by Ethan just because of his internet, it's, it's pretty hilarious. You guys can go check it out on his channel Victor uh, Gamer or Victor Hernandez I guess that's what his uh, YouTube's called I'll uh, leave the link in the description but yeah I mean it sucks a lot that my computer and stuff stopped working because you know I have this awesome editing software it's uh, Curl, Coral Studio Video Pro some other X6 a whole bunch of letters numbers and stuff um, but you know it works great it's it's a bit older software because they're up to like X like eight X nine, and uh, you know I, I still really enjoy it. I think it's a nice clean software and uh, it's it's pretty nice because you know it's it's very easy and simple to use. And even when I got it, I had pretty much no video editing experience. And when I got it, I pretty much knew how to do everything. It was very uh, I don't know, soul sufficient and stuff like that. So I really did enjoy using the editing program, and you know, I just think it's it's so much better than uh, you know other programs out there, and it's per usually pretty cheap. And you know, I'm probably thinking of buying the newer version of the program. I know a lot of people uh, give the program crap, but you know, it's it's actually a pretty good program. I I do give them credit. And, you know, the new ones are probably about $100, but if you give it time, like, during the holiday season and stuff, they have insane, like, markdowns. Like, I got mine for probably about 75% off, so it was it was pretty cheap for a great program at the time. And, you know, it's still a great program, and I can even do, like, 4K videos and stuff like that. I have posted, like, one or two 4K videos, um, but they were upscaled, of course, because at the time, PS3 couldn't do 4k and I don't think ps4 can do 4k either and while speaking of 4k I also saw some uh, I don't know rumors that Netflix is actually uh, predicting that there will be a Xbox one and a ps4 that are both 4k uh, compatible by the end of the year you know that'd be pretty cool to see some 4k games on console I know those are pretty much primarily on PC because PCs um, I don't know they're pretty strong and uh, you know they they can do stuff that consoles can't and you know that's that's pretty nice I wish I don't know consoles were a bit more uh, I don't know had a bit more leeway I guess like you could upgrade them like you can PCs because PCs you can get so many parts for them you can uh, really upgrade their graphics cards and stuff like that and uh, you know as far as I know, the only thing that you can really upgrade within a PlayStation 4 is like the hard drive. I'm sure you could probably upgrade the graphics and stuff, but that would be a bit more difficult. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I have seen quite a bit on uh, N4G, which is the website I use. You guys heard me talk about it before, of this adapter that's coming out. And uh, I forget who makes it, but... Uh, it's basically an adapter that's it's for your hard drive, and it can allow you to have like a six terabit hard drive within your PlayStation 4, um, which is just insane. That is more space than you will ever need. And if you guys don't know what a terabit is, it's like a thousand gigabytes. And uh, 
So it's roughly about at the moment like two PlayStation consoles put together. That's that's pretty much one terabit, and to have like six of those, that is just insane. Um, that's roughly about 12 PS4s just memory capacity, and uh, you know that's that's just pretty insane. But uh, new DLC is coming out for this game. It's it looks pretty good. I watched quite a bit on it. Um, Exo Zombies actually looks pretty fun. Um, I wasn't really a Black Ops 2, Black Ops 1 Zombies player. I, I pretty much enjoyed World at War Zombies for the most part. However, it was, I am really excited for Sledgehammer. They've, they've done some great things, got some great new maps out. So uh, definitely be looking for some new DLC coming out here towards the future. And I think that's all I have for this video today, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic day and peace out.